The Life and Sad Ending of William Smith William Smith was born on March 24, 1933, in Columbia, Missouri, U.S. His parents were William E. Smith and Emily Smith. He and his elder sister, Emily, were named for their parents William was born on his mother's 38th birthday. Smith began his acting career at the age of eight in 1942 he entered films as a child actor in such films as The Ghost of Frankenstein, The Song of Bernadette, and Meet Me in St. Louis. Smith served in the United States Air Force. He won the 200 pounds arm wrestling championship of the world multiple times and also won the United States Air Force weightlifting championship. A lifelong bodybuilder, Smith is a record holder for reverse curling his own body weight. His trademark arms measured as much as 19 and a half inches. Smith held a 31-1 record as an amateur boxer. During the Korean War, he was a Russian intercept interrogator and flew secret ferret missions over the Russian SFSR. He had both CIA and NSA clearance and intended to enter a classified position with the U.S. government, but while he was working on his doctorate studies he landed an acting contract with MGM. He was a regular on the 1961 ABC television series The Asphalt Jungle, portraying police sergeant Danny Keller. In 1964, Smith appeared in the episode The Rope of Lies as Bill, a ranch hand from the Shiloh Ranch of the syndicated television series The Virginian. One of his earliest leading roles was as Joe Riley, a Texas Ranger on the NBC Western series Laredo. In 1967, Smith's guest starred as Jude Bonner on James Arness' long-lived Western Gunsmoke. Smith was cast as John Richard Parker brother of Cynthia Ann Parker, both taken hostage in Texas by the Comanche, in the 1969 episode The Understanding of the syndicated television series Death Valley Days, which was hosted by Robert Taylor. In the storyline, Parker contracts the plague as left for dead by his fellow Comanche warriors and is rescued by his future Mexican wife, Yolanda. He played the outlaw turned temporary sheriff Hendry Brown in the 1969 episode The Restless Man. In that storyline, Brown takes the job of sheriff to tame a lawless town, begins to court a young woman, but soon returns to his deadly outlaw ways in search of bigger thrills. On Gunsmoke, Smith appeared in a 1972 episode, Hostage, his character beats and rapes Amanda Blake's character Miss Kitty Russell and shoots her twice in the back. Smith has been described as the greatest bad guy character actor of our time. Smith joined the cast of the final season of Hawaii Five-0 he had previously appeared with Jack Lord in Lord's prior series Stoney Burke. Smith starred in one episode each of the Adam West Batman TV series in the episode Minerva, Mayhem and Millionaires as Adonis, one of the minions of the title guest villainous portrayed by Zsa Zsa Gabor, I Dream of Genie in the episode Operation, first couple on the moon as Turk Parker, Kung Fu, and as the Trabor, a ruthless warlord, in the Buck Rogers in the 25th century episode Buck's Duel to the Death. Smith also made guest appearances opposite James Garner in the 1974 two-hour pilot for The Rockford Files titled Backlash of the Hunter and also featuring Lindsay Wagner and Bill Mummy, and George Peppard in The A-Team in two appearances as different characters, in the first season's Pros and Cons and the fourth season's The A-Team is Coming, The A-Team is Coming. In the 1976 television miniseries Rich Man, Poor Man, he portrayed Anthony Falconetti, the nemesis of the Jordache family, and reprised the role in the sequel Rich Man, Poor Man Book Two. Other 1970s TV appearances included the Kolchak, the Night Stalker episode The Energy Eater, as an Indian medicine man who advises Kolchak, and an early Six Million Dollar Man episode Survival of the Fittest as Commander Maxwell. He also appeared in the 1979 miniseries The Rebels as John Waverly, in an episode of The Dukes of Hazard as Jason Steele, a bounty hunter hired by Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane to frame the Duke boys into jail, and in an episode of Knight Rider as Harold Turner. On the big screen, 
Smith became the star of several cult movies from the early 70s. Smith appeared as Heavy Terry Bartell in Darker Than Amber in 1970. Also that year, Smith was also featured in two biker flicks Nam's Angels originally released under the title The Losers Co. starring Bernie Hamilton and CeCe and Company with Anne Margaret, Joe Namath, Jennifer Billingsley, and genre favorite Sid Haig, the latter of which was directed by Seymour Robbie and written by Anne Margaret's husband, the actor Roger Smith. He starred in 1972's Grave of the Vampire as James Eastman co-starring with Michael Pataki and Lynn Peters, and 1973's Invasion of the B-Girls co-starring Victoria Vetri, Anitra Ford, and Katie Saylor, written by Nicholas Meyer and directed by Dennis Sanders, and 1975's The Swinging Barmaid starring Ms. Saylor, Bruce Watson, and Laura Hipp, and directed by Gus Traconis. In 1972 and 1975, respectively, he appeared in two popular blaxploitation films, Hammer and the controversially titled Boss Nigger, both with Fred Williamson. In 1973, Bruce Lee personally offered Smith the lead in Enter the Dragon, but another film went over schedule and John Saxon stepped into the role. After that, he played a vindictive sergeant in Twilight's Last Gleaming in 1977 with an all-star cast headed by Burt Lancaster and Richard Widmark, a drag racing legend in Fast Company in 1979 also co-starring Claudia Jennings and John Saxon, the main character's father. In Conan the Barbarian in 1982 with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Bad guy Matt Diggs in The Frisco Kid in 1979 opposite Gene Wilder and Harrison Ford, and Clint Eastwood's bare-knuckle nemesis Jack Wilson in 1980's Any Which Way, you can a sequel to 1978's Every Which Way, but loose in which Smith did not appear, and also had a top villainous role of the Soviet commander in the hit 1984 theatrical film Red Dawn. In 1983, Smith appeared in two films from Francis Ford Coppola, in The Outsiders as a store clerk and in Rumble Fish as a police officer. In 1985, Smith landed the starring role of Brody Hollister in the Disney miniseries Wildside, created by writer-producer Tom Green, and another role as the bookmaker's enforcer known as Panama Hat in director Richard Brooks's final movie, Fever Pitch in 1985 opposite Ryan O'Neill. In the following years, he appeared in his notable film credits include Rolls and Eye of the Tiger in 1986, Red Dawn in 1984, and The Mean Season in 1985. In addition, he appeared in numerous horror movies of the 1980s, 90s, and early 2000s. Smith, recipient of the 2005 Southern California Motion Picture Council Award and of the 2008 Silver Spur Award and inducted into the Venice Muscle Beach Bodybuilding Hall of Fame 2010. In personal life, Smith spent his early days in Columbia, Missouri. His marriage to Michelle Smith produced one child before ending in divorce, he later married Joanne Cervelli. Probably, right now is his worst time when his health is slowly deteriorating. Thank you for listening to the story about the life of William Smith like and comment on your opinion in the comments section below.